what is going on there guys welcome back to a brand new series on efc 24 obviously uh, for anyone who doesn't know we were doing the man united career but just due to the lack of being able to continue that series um just honestly i just lost touch of it, it so much stuff was happening but now I, man I managed to get a lot of time on my hands to do the content i wanted to do um and everyone is honestly want have been wanting the critical career mode back so i thought we'll do a manchester united career mode maybe at the end of the year maybe the, before the new eafc game comes out next year maybe that'll be like our last career mode but this i want to do this mammoth career mode start to do this especially now we're on new gen i hope you're ready for it because this is going to be one hell of a ride i have actually started this before basically i just wanted to have a little play around with the creative club especially on new gen so i'll see what i wanted to do uh, so then I, I saw i wasn't coming into this blind so i'm gonna create my player or my manager sorry and i'll show you the results so guys it's all set up obviously usually i would usually bring you through the entire process but i thought that's gonna take too long and i don't want to waste any single time with this career mode, I want us to get straight into the action. We're going to be flying through in this next like 10 minutes. So we're going to be flying through all the um, like pre-season stuff. We're going to be getting through all the transfers. Um, just to get it out of the way, this is how this career mode is going to work. So obviously like transfers and stuff, when we make big transfers like, like a club record signing, I'll sort of show you the cutscenes and stuff for that. But anything like that, I'll sort of show you when we're buying. If I've got like a shortest of players, I'll sort of show you who I'm thinking of. And then I'll come, I'll let you know when I come to the decision. And obviously people like who I sell, I'll let you know if there's any big players. Obviously at this moment in time, we've got a generated squad. I'll show you in a minute. Obviously we've got a generated squad. It's going to change a lot. Um, the budget, I put up, I put it up to 10 million. Simply because I didn't want it to be too high, but... I, I put it to 10 million because I knew I'd want to set up a youth academy. I'd want to sort of like put get uh, some decent scouts, get some um, good youth academy going. So I've done all that and now I'm left with about 5 million. So you know what, that's about right for a League 2 side. Um, by the way, if you look at the badges at, behind my manager, obviously I, I think I've done a quite good job with the manager to be honest. Uh, we're going with our OG badge. This is what we first did with our first Creative Club career mode badge so i thought we'll go back to that i'll show you the kits on the first pre-season game but first let's go and check out the squad this is obviously going to change a lot this is the starting formation i'm going to start with this is sort of what i generated so it's starting we've got one got one striker three cams that might change where if i want to go for a winger i might change some of these guys into wingers um i'm actually going to play with two cdms I feel like, especially in League 2, that might be a good choice. Uh, we've got uh, one of our star players is this uh, ball guy, who's actually 22, he's actually decently high rated for League 2, so hopefully we'll see something good for him. Uh, we've got some decent fullbacks, but again, the middle-aged, obviously this uh, left-back is 32 years of age, so probably need another left-back. Um, a couple of half-okay centre-halves, but again, probably need another center half probably definitely need a goalkeeper because we haven't actually got a player over six over 58 rated in goalkeeping position i've actually put i think it was full i put on the transfer list i've already done that as well and i'll show you who i've put there but i see i've got a lot of um, reserves here i've got a few people who are a little bit um who are already dead rubbers i'm already going to get them out i'm not i'm not messing around Laird, who's 34, he's 53. I don't think he's going to stick around. Um, Howard, who's 29. I might keep him around just for a season. Uh, Woods is a bit of a younger striker, so maybe he'll stick around for a little bit. Same with Shepard, who's 18 years of age. I have actually put a couple of these players up for loan. Try and get him out on a little bit of game time. Hayes, who doesn't look too bad. Might try to get him on some... I've already put them all on development plans, so we'll have to wait and see if some of these guys grow quick enough. Um, Stevens, who's 17, he's again someone I think I put out on the trans on the on the loan list. Uh, 17 years of age, 53 overall. Definitely someone who can get a little bit higher. Uh, for someone like this Woods guy, who's 50 overall, he's 37. He's not go. He's gonna. He's gonna leave. I, I don't really need him here. Uh, Wall as well. Jackson, who again is another young player. 
Sanderson, another young player. So we've got a couple of decent young players who, if I can get them out on loan, they're not going to get too much game time this first season, I don't think. Um, we'll, we'll wait and see. Depends if we'll go out, get them out on loan or not. Uh, but anyway, this is the transfer list. We've got Baker, Wall. I've actually put both uh, two goalkeepers on the transfer list because I'm actually going to go out and get one. And I'll use uh, Fuller as my backup. Stevens, he's going on the transfer list. Laird, uh, Wood, Shepard, he's on the loan list. Sutton's on the loan list. Jackson, Sanderson. So a lot of these young players, as much as they're young and I would lo love to give them a bit of a chance, I feel like these guys will benefit just going out and having a bit of a loan spell. And I don't know, maybe we'll bring him back later on, but I'm happy with that. But as I said, we've got a bit of money to work with. Not absolute lows just over five million i said we initially started with 10 but we really have um i gave a couple of people a couple of young players a new contract just so i can get them out on loan because every single player is expiring in 12 months so that's another thing we've got to look out for we're gonna have to be very very smart with the way we play this set this season so our first departure is michael baker for 238 thousand pounds to barrow and um, one of my backup goalkeepers and another goalkeeper fuller going to port vale for 100k uh, again just getting these plays out and not a bad little bit of money back for them to be fair uh, we've got a few more offers going through and i will get back to you because I'm, I'm just scouting quite a lot of players and one thing i really want to do is i want to pick the right players especially for league two we haven't got much room to mess up and get the wrong players in Got another guy to leave as well, Ian Laird. Not seeing him play, but you know what? I'm happy to get these older players out. They were just not going to really do us any good. Uh, we could have got a little bit more, but you know what? I'm not that fussed. We've got a decent price for him. I'm very happy with that. A couple of loans. Alfie Shepard, another young player, is going... I don't even know how to pronounce that, that club. But also Elijah Sanderson is going to Stout Mielek for two years. Um, I'm pretty sure he's like a 17 or 18 year old, so getting him out on loan for two years, it will help him. Hopefully, he can grow. I would love one of these players to come back and be just massively higher rated. Also, I don't usually show you the um, pre season because I just don't, I don't bother with it. I sort of just like get, like get into the season. I just use it as a bit of a chance to get the squad fit. Um, the big thing I want to show you is the kits and this is the home kit and by the way I don't know who the hell this number 4 is but he's absolutely like a tank he's built like a bloody shithouse uh, a brick shithouse should I say my god buddy you down with your eat your heart out but anyway look at I really like this kit I'll be honest I was tossing and turning with possibly t renaming the club um, Hawkeye Monsters just because it sort of was in my mind to sort of go down like the RB Leipzig route and like obviously they're, they're sponsored by Red Bull and obviously as you can tell by the colours I am a massive fan of Monster so I thought you know what why don't we go for that but it sounded a bit silly I don't let me know if you'd, you would maybe like that in the future let me know but I went for the classic Hawkeye FC just because I think everyone likes that name and I think it's just very classic name but anyway, this is the home kit, a very, very very nice black and uh, gr green kit. I think it, just the green looks so nice on the black, I love it. Uh, we're sponsored by Puma in this uh, season as well, so we'll go for that. Our away one is our one of our other classic colours in the purple, with a little bit of a blue like shape meshing on, on the shirt. Looks very, very cool. Uh, sponsored by FC24 on that shirt and a new Puma kit for our alternate a bit of like a strange brown grey cut with a bit of a blue in there I think that looks like a very very clean kit I've got to say I am very very happy with our kits this year I feel like I've knocked it out of the park let me know which kit do you prefer I personally prefer the home kit let me know what you prefer down below home, away or alternate let me know by the way, just a quick look at, at the Youth Academy and what I'm starting to do, because usually I go through and if they're absolutely trash, what I'm thinking of is just because of the money they generate, just if I brought them up to the senior squad and I sold them, I'd get like probably 100k, somewhere like that for them. I feel like for that little long-term gain, that little bit of money, especially in these first few seasons, will be massive. 
So as much as none of these guys have any sort of good potential, they don't look like they're going to be anything big. I'm going to train them up, I'm going to see if we can get them a little bit high rated, and then probably if they hit 18, I'll probably um, bring them up to the senior squad. If they're not going to play, I'll either loan them or I'll sell them. That's probably what I'll do with it. Um, obviously, we, we've got scouts going away. I've put one away for England and also Scotland. Um, the Scottish one is a, a very low-rated scout, and I've only done it for three months. Probably every three months, I'll change that to a different country, just to shits and giggles. We'll just uh, sort of mess around with that. Okay, so I am scouting a lot of players, and I'll be honest, it's really, really hard to find half-decent players, especially with the budget where I'm trying to stretch it to get a number of players. I'm trying to find a certain caliber of player, like, sort of like these players here, like I've got this uh, goalkeeper from Stoke and this uh, Spezia goalkeeper, Zofko, who are both quite young. They're actually higher rated than the goalkeepers I've got now. Um, looking at them, definitely room for improvement. This uh, Stoke goalkeeper is a little bit shorter than I'd like, so, Honestly, I'm going to go for Sofko, uh, Bosnia Hertz uh, goalkeeper. He's got really good reflexes, to be fair, straight out of gate. Definitely someone can work on, and he's the best option I've got so far, and we are getting close to a first league game, so we definitely need to start getting some signing. So I'm going to get pick this guy up. So our first signing of the career, my dad, our first official signing is for 300k for Peter Zofko, our new goalkeeper. Uh, got a C for, for that, I'll take it. He's a little bit higher rated than what we've got now, as you can see. So, I'm happy with that. He's 21 years of age. Definitely got a lot of room we can grow. Hopefully, we can make a start of this guy. We'll have to give him a bit of time, but hopefully it pays off. Got another loanee going to one, uh, with, uh, West Side Wanderers, I think. Uh, Sydney Wanderers, I think it is, uh, in Australia. So, we'll take that. Another loanee going out. We'll have to keep an eye on them, guys. So another player I'm going to go for as well, just before we go into this game uh, up and coming, is I'm going to go for Matthew Dennis uh, from MK Dons. Uh, I've been scouting for a while, he's worth, I can get him below his value. He's 59 overall, so he's not absolutely outstanding, but what he has got, he's got pace. He's good agility, he's got a good jump on him. Um, he's six foot one as well, so he's not like he's a short player. I'm getting very much like Ricky J. Jones vibes, who we used to have uh, in the old career mode. He's very technical, apparently. He's got a bit of a flair. Um, he obviously is finishing his work, but he can partly work in the striker, right wing and left wing. So, going forward, that could be very, very useful. So, we're going to go in for him. So, for 300k, we have bought Matthew Dennis from MK Dons. Brought him down. He's going to be our star striker, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, I am looking for possibly bringing another striker. Uh, but it's very hard to find some at the minute. I'm, I'm actually having to look myself because the scouting, the scouting, they're basically giving me loads. I, I'm trying to go for this um, Ordonez guy from Argentina, but I doubt he's going to come out on low and he's still going through, but I doubt it. 66 overall, it's just not going to happen. But they keep giving me plays like people who won't move again, they won't come down to his level, won't relocate. It's very, very hard, and I'm having to sort of having to find my own players. Um, we have got Morgan coming up. Oh my god! I just said we won't get him, and we just got him! Oh my god! I was not expecting that! Okay, um, we got a new midfielder. <laughs> Ordonez is coming in. I, I wish I actually put a buy clause in there, but to be honest, I could. Go I will get first jab at him if, if he starts doing really good. Maybe I will bring him in. Um, actually, I don't know. I wonder if this is like a bit of a back way of doing this. So what, is it CDM? Let me just have a quick look at him. He looks really good. He's got a bit of pace about him, good agility, um, good reactions. He's got a decent pass on him. Um, very decent short and long passing for uh, this, this end. Um, how much is he? And there we go, Christian Adonis. Is is officially a Hawkeye player? I I think I might have just found a bit of a back way of getting these young players on like really decent deals because 
if I'm glad I did it now, I'm glad I, I realised that now because if I didn't, um, if he, he would have continued to grow because he's got to have some potential. This guy, I'm, I will have a look, um, possibly for next episode and I'll see what his um, overall his potential overall is. But a six six overall, I am well happy with that. Oh, get in, guys. So we've got our first game, League 2, guys. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the rest of the, tr of the transfer business just for now. Because we've only got about 4 million left. So I really, really want to use that. We've only got actually about, I'm going to say about 3 million left with the budget and everything. So I, d I don't want to use all that either. I kind of want to, I'm going to see how we go. Because i um, got a lot of things I want to do. Obviously, I've, I've not actually changed any of this just yet. So why not? It's the first game of the season, first game of the series. Let's have a press conference. Thanks, guys. We're going to get started with the questions now. You ready? So Hawkeye fans have been enjoying what we've seen from the team preseason. Can eat a bit more the same once the series game kicks off. Um, I'd say we're a talented group. I feel like this is just. We are just starting from scratch, and that is the thing we've got to remember. It's not going to be perfect straight off the bat. This could be a long and difficult season. Support seems to expect your boys to struggle. Is a scrap near the bottom, or you can see your head? And it's like, no. We'll go out and fight for everything. And I want us to try and go for the big big things. Signed Dennis from MK Dons look like it could be a bit, perfect bit of a bargain this season. Are you excited to see what you can get from him? Um, I think he'll surprise people. I think he'll surprise people. I think that's the best thing to say. I think he'll. Do, I think he'll be a bit of a surprise okay, this season. We'll be wrapping up now. Thank you for attending. I feel like he will also be someone who grows quite quickly as well. So I'm hoping we see that. Uh, but as a part of more team playing, not someone I really recognise really. But I'm excited to get into this. We're going to play, we're going to be playing a whole thing for the first time. Odonis makes his debut. So does Zovko and Dennis. And we get to, and to be honest, it's everyone's debut. This is a big chance for every single one of these players to make an impact. And hopefully show me they should stay in the starting 11. It's the opening day of a new season. And both teams will be looking to start quickly. You can feel the excitement in the air. Complete coverage on the way with EA TV. So here we go, we are going to kick off here at Hawk Lane, big game ahead and I, I know we had a little bit of talking at the start, because I didn't turn off the commentary so um, I hope this is a nice experience here. We'll try and keep things simple. I don't know, this does well there. Oh ball, one of our better players is uh, in here. Ball! Oh, he puts it wide! He needs to be taking chances like that. Our first big chance of the match. Oh, it was a save! Oh, okay. Ball with the delivery here. It's a big strike up there. Dennis is there. Martin. Adonis! Oh, he's so close! Adonis, so close to his first goal. Much, very, very good work by my team. Very nice words and unlucky by Adonis. Charles McCocken. Ball. Dennis, as well there. Ball! Ball! First goal for Hawkeye! First goal of the series! Let's go! Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Dennis involved in our number nine. Just plays it into ball. Baker into ball and he just slots it past the goalkeeper. Very nicely done. By our proper number 10 in there. He is number 13. I will change that. So just figuring out the team right now. I'm not too worried about the numbers just as yet. Adonis. Find Smith. Adonis back in the thick of it. That's a good ball. And again, it's Baker to ball. 
Ball misses it. But my God, we are very, very good with our passing right now. Ball very unlucky not to double his tally. God, I've been outside. I don't even know what happened there. No way! Oh, the goalkeeper saves it! Let's go! Let's go! A new goalkeeper saves our ass! I didn't even see what happened. I didn't even tackle with Smith. I don't have a clue what just happened in the back, in the back half. But we are still in the lead. It's not what I wanted to do, but... We move. Oh, what a save by a keeper. Let's go. Dennis. Adams. Oh, he hits that one really well. Very, very unlucky. Off the bar. Ball trying to work his way to the byline. Is the goalkeeper coming up now? Come on, referee! Referee! Call it! Come on! And we do get our first win of the series and our first win of the season. A lot, a lot still to do. But this is the biggest win we needed to start the series off big big win we could have had more to be fair gotta say what performance by goalkeeper making a good few saves very big start from a lot of these players so we're saying goodbye to someone else joshua sutton for two years he's going again i can't even pronounce that name but either way we'll get another player out aiden stevens as well is going to racing dave Ferral for 83k so we'll get a little bit more money in for that um, another older player who just wasn't going to do it do much, but definitely need to bring in some more players because we definitely need that little bit extra, especially going forward. So let's have a quick look at our first scout reports. Uh, well, we got one in Scotland. Uh, I, I, won't, I probably won't get him in yet. I'll keep an eye on him though. Um, Alfie Cross. Oh, he looks quite terrible. Ooh, Austin Brown, though. 425k right off the bat. That's pretty good. We'll get him in straight away. Um, I'd, I'd say we need to be at least 300 to 400k for me to get him out right, especially at this point in the career mode. So I'm going to simulate this game against Grinsby. Let's see what we can do. Oh, my God. We lose badly as well. Uh, it's really not a great uh, second game. Three goals to nil. That uh, is not good. And to be honest, everything was quite even. But we had the same amount of chances. We just couldn't deal with them. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't think Grisby were that good. But okay, <laughs> we'll move on. Um, I'm going to be very, very honest. I'm going to rotate pretty much every single player for this Bristol City game. Um, I'm really not fussed about the cup competitions in this uh, season. Um, maybe next season, we'll, or maybe in the FA Cup later on in the year when we've got ourselves a bit more established. But right now in the Carabao Cup, I'm really not fussed. 
My God, we actually get to 2-2 two, two, and we'll only lose 2-0 on penalty. Apparently, Adonis and, and Roberts got to go. And I literally, I rotated everyone in that game as well. My God. <laughs> Fair enough. So the one thing I definitely saw is I definitely want another left back and a right back. And I, I honestly, I didn't expect that I could actually go for Jamie Shackleton or George Tanner, who were very high up on the list when I saw them. Um, especially Jamie Shackleton. The only thing is, he's on 15 grand a week. That is a big amount to just let go. Um, I'll be honest, I don't even know if I'd play him. It's, it's right back, I'd probably play him at centre mid with the, the fact that he's a decent passer with the ball. The fact is, he's worth 15 grand, and he'd be such a way out of everyone else's. Um, George Tanner's a bit better, but again, we'd probably spend most of our money on him. Um, we could do it. The only thing is, I know Jeffrey Shackleton is actually on the last year of his contract. Would we give him 15 grand? Would he take a pay cut, though? That is the thing. The only other option is, I, I wouldn't mind, maybe. Um, I don't know, because I was actually really looking at Kane Ramsey as well, because I thought he looks like a really decent player. Um, George Tanner as well. Looks like a very nice player to have. Um, I did have people like Connor Townsend in, in there as well, just because I thought maybe these guys will have a bit more experience. But I saw his, his wage, and he doesn't have that much pace, so probably not. This Vo Jake Vokins, I'm actually tempted to go for, just because of how cheap I can get him. And he's decently overalled. Um, I'm going to see how much I can get for Jamie Shackleton, and I'm going to see. I'll let you know what happens. Okay, so something just crazy just happened. We have just bought Jamie Shackleton from Leeds. Do you know what? I will take that. I know it seems a bit silly. Honestly, let's have a quick look at him. He's 70 overall. Oh my god, I am shocked. He even wants... Do you know what? This is why I know I say I want to keep this realistic. I wasn't expecting him. One, there must be a reason he wanted to. Uh, he was willing to come down to this level. I'm so happy with that. I would. I'm. I'm honest. I don't know what if this will stay this way. I might honestly put him in midfield with Adonis and maybe get Kane Ramsey if I can afford it. The only thing is, well, I do need a centre back and I need a left back. That they are the areas I'm sort of worried about right now. So. I'll get back to you with that, but honestly, I know he's on 15 grand. He actually took a pay cut. He, I thought I offered him anything. He said he'd take eight grand. Um, I took off the the bonuses he wanted, and he wanted nine grand. I know it's a lot more than what a lot of the other ones are. Like, I don't know what I, I think. Adonis was only on like um, three or four grand, um, but still, he is our highest rated player with the rating he's got. You can't say he doesn't deserve it. So, I'm chuffed to bits with that. We've got him for 1.4 million as well. 400k below his value. That is another player right there. I am overjoyed with that. So, guys, oh my god, we've just made some incredible signings. Um, let's just go through this. So, obviously, I bought Jamie Shackleton. Um, 9.8 grand a week. I know it's a lot, but honestly, that was worth it. But to get him 400k less as well. That paid for the left back Jake Vokins, who is on. A, he actually took a pay cut as well for like um, five, six grand, down to three point five to come down to a low league. Again, real game faces as well. What I I I always love. Um, obviously, I said I'm actually tempted to play Jamie Shackleton as a centre mid uh, next to uh, uh, the other new centre mid. Um, then I, I had a little bit of extra cash. I thought, why not go in for Kane Ramsey, who's I'll be honest, uh, for the value he had for his market value, I expected him to be like maybe 64, 65, but I'm, I'm still 63 overall, still decent, he's still young. Um, I'm pretty sure I've used him before as well. I'm, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I've used him before. But I got him again, another like two to 300k less than he's worth. I am stoked to that. The only thing is I could really do with a centre back. The only thing I might do just to save a bit of money is I might go out and get a couple of free agents for that position and I might not spend any more money because I don't want to use I think I've got um, just looking back at what I've got about 500k I'd say and we've got about 13 grand in the budget so I'm going to just look for some free agents 
So guys, the last game we're going to play of the episode, we're going to play this game. Um, Ramsey, Bokins and Shackleton will make their debuts. Interested to see how we do here. We've already won one and lost one. Hopefully we can end on a high. Here we go. Back on Hawk Lane. We've got another three players making their de debuts. We are slowly making this team a real reckon a team to be reckoned with, honestly. Ball Shackleton now. Adonis! Oh! He sliced at that. Hopefully he just went in, but he didn't. But again, very positive. Oh! An audacious effort. Oh my god, thank god for that. We got very lucky there. Baker managed to get through. He's getting chased by Stubbs though. Baker! Oh, he saves. Baker unlucky. Holiday. Ooh! That went through absolutely everybody. Very lucky Tullet couldn't, uh, couldn't finish it. Smith does well there. Ball! Ramsey! Ramsey! Out of all the players I bought! My new right back! Well, second new right back, technically. Uh, if you don't include Shackleton, but here he goes, pulls it back, ball hits it right into a defender. The goalkeeper's only just getting up. I thought he got up just in enough time, but Ramsey bullies it home. Let's go, boys. Big goal. We've deserved that. We've been a better team. wouldn't go away Trek kept amount of times they have put that across the f let's just have a look at this again right there Vulcans gets it he tries to pass it out it's one touch and bang what are we meant to do about that there's nothing we can really do about that come on God! He's just on his ass. Ah, that's disappointing. We did all the hard work. The body floating ball, apparently. But you know what? I feel like Bradford are one of them teams in League Two. What are going to be one of the better ones? So, if that's how we play against one of the better teams. I'll take it. We've got we've got a lot long, long way to go, and we've got to still gel as a team. Okay, guys, I'm gonna leave the first episode here. I would I did want to really get out the transfer in this episode, but what I want to do is I don't want to rush it because there's still a bit of business I want to do. Um, I'm very happy with the business we've done so far. I feel like there's definitely players we could do with like I feel like we could do with another striker or at least another winger. Maybe I could have um, Danish go up front or something because. Um, I'd probably say we are missing a little bit of an attacking threat. Uh, just sometimes I feel like we could do a little bit more pace in the team. But we definitely need another centre-back as well. So I'm going to have to try and be careful. But probably from what I can see, people like Zovko has already gone up by an overall. What's very nice to see. Um, I've got to say, all the signs I've made, I feel like it was very, very solid. Shackleton was a bit quiet in the second half, but I'm not too fussed about that at all. Um... I feel like all these players did a really, really big solid for me in that game. Odonez was probably a bit quiet, but again, we are still getting gelled up as a, as a team. Um, I've literally changed 
six to seven players of this team already. And I'm probably going to do at least another two. Because you got to think, um, like Hooper's 57 overall. If, if one of them free agents becomes better, I'll be replacing him. And same with Martin. If I can find a cam or a left winger, I'll be changing him. I'm very happy with a lot of players. Like, I think Baker's not too bad. I've just not um, got used to playing with a tall striker like that. Balls, I think, is very good. I'm, I'm really liking that solid midfield right now. Uh, but let me know, any players you'd like me to look at in the future, any players you'd like me to sign in this career mode, put them down below and I will um, hopefully put them on the transfer list, or on the shortest, should I say, and maybe at some point we'll buy them. Uh, let me know, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you've watched the entirety of this episode, thank you so much. Please, if uh, we can, try and uh, watch the entirety of the episodes. It does help me out as well. And you just watching my content helps me a lot, and it, I appreciate it so so much guys you guys are amazing and i love you so much and you guys are my hawk nation and i adore you guys honestly and thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time for episode number two uh thank you for watching this first episode of hawkeye fc creator called career mode in efc 24 i've been a hawkeye punisher and i am out take it easy guys